Hey, how you doing? Just this simple pickup line is enough to make anyone know which show we are talking about. Friends, the American sitcom which telecasted for 10 continuous years from 1994 to 2004 to give its worldwide audience one spectacular experience. In fact, people still stream and watch it to relive these amazing moments because no other sitcom is comparable to the realistic approach Fenton's put forth. This is one of the best series that can be watched over and over without even a tiny bit of boredom. What is more fascinating is the fact that some scenes were indeed unscripted, still made their way into the show, as the creators felt that they were way more entertaining than originally intended. Let us look at some of the best unscripted moments on Friends to make the show more amusing the next time you binge watch. 1. A Williams and Crystal Cameo Friends is famous for its hilarious cameos, featuring top actors and even the billionaire Richard Branson. But the finest cameo was in the 24th episode of season 6, which begins with Monica attempting to talk about her new relationship with the gang, when Tim and Thomas, played by Billy Crystal and Robin Williams, enter Central Perk. They ask for some space on the iconic couch, and soon Thomas starts discussing very loudly his failing marriage and cheating wife with Tim. The whole thing goes from weird to bizarre when Tim confesses that he's the one having an affair with Thomas's wife. Thomas bursts into tears and ends their friendship. He then leaves the coffee shop in a loud fury, with Tim following Thomas, leaving the six friends in stunned silence. But why is this cameo number one on our list? Well, Billy Crystal and Robin Williams were never part of the original script and had no lines to work with. The writers met them by coincidence on the day of the shoot in the building across the street from the set and asked them to make an appearance. The entire conversation, including Robin Williams' weird accent, Joey interrupting their conversation, and a shocked Monica saying, I really can't remember, after Thomas storms off, was completely ad -lib. The whole scene, spanning a little over two minutes, was a display of sheer skill and talent from two of the finest comedians in Hollywood history. Even in terms of most words ad -lib, this scene is number one. 2. Stuck Pages while many episodes are memorable for their hilarious moments, it's easy to notice how the writers took it up a notch for their seasonal Thanksgiving episodes, and the one in season 6 is no different. Monica and Chandler host Thanksgiving for the gang and her parents, who don't know that Chandler and Monica are living together or seeing each other. Meanwhile, Ross and Joey try to leave the party as early as possible to hang out with Joey's new hot roommate, Janine. But the episode itself also has a very interesting subplot where Rachel attempts to make desserts all by herself, but she ends up making a half trifle, half shepherd's pie, which confuses Joey and Ross. Ross realises that the pages in the cookbook Rachel used were stuck together, to which Joey responds by shouting out, Chandler! This line was an ad lib that was not used in the script, but too good for the producers to skip. 3. Joey trips over. The one with five steaks and an eggplant is a fine example of how friends can handle even serious themes without becoming a melodrama. This episode focuses on how Joey, Rachel and Phoebe are financially challenged, creating tension between the two groups. But the subplot is equally, if not more, entertaining. A woman named Jade with a sexy voice leaves a voice message on Joey and Chandler's machine, thinking that her ex-boyfriend Bob still lives there. Jade calls for Bob again asking for one hot, steamy, wild night during the end credit scene when Joey is the only one in the apartment. An excited Joey is supposed to pick up the call to say, Bob here, but misses and falls over. This was an accident, but Matt LeBlanc's fool was hilarious, forcing the editors to go with it instead of the line. 4. Blue Blazer Black This episode may be famous for Phoebe's decision to carry her stepbrother's babies, and Monica's iconic explanation of a woman's erogenous zones. But one scene that goes under the radar is where a struggling Joey wears a blue blazer and announces that he's got a new gig at the museum. Chandler quickly pounces on the opportunity and makes fun of Joey's attire, but Matthew Perry gets tongue twisted and ends up saying Donald Trump wants his blue blazer black instead of blue blazer back. What follows is a hilarious but completely off script back and forth between Perry and the gang who grill him for the mix-up, for embarrassed Perry changes the subject. 5. A Hangover, Not a Marriage The season 5 finale was memorable for a lot of reasons. Chandler and Monica decide to get married in Vegas, 
only to stumble upon a drunk and just married Ross and Rachel. This was huge, as Ross and Rachel were in the off period of their legendary on again off again relationship. The events of the cliffhanger continue in season 6, where Rachel starts freaking out about their marriage and asks for an annulment, but Ross, who may get divorced for the third time, slyly asks Rachel to stay married. A series of events ensue where Ross finds new ways to convince Rachel to stay in the marriage. Eventually, Rachel snaps and in her rage, ends up delivering the line, this is not a marriage, this is the world's worst hangover, which is easily the funniest thing she's ever said on the show. This line was unscripted and the surprise studio audience even burst out laughing at Jennifer Aniston's improvisation, which was later edited out to make the moment a tad serious. 6. Final Dialogue by Chandler Bing Could the King of Sarcasm be anyone other than Chandler Bing? Did you know even the show's final line was ad-libbed by him? Neither did we. In the heartbreaking final scene, the six main characters are seen standing together before leaving to explore different paths in life. Rachel then suggests having a cup of coffee together for the last time, and Chan responds, Sure, where? Although the scriptwriters had only written sure. In the whole Friends series, the three main locations where the friends are seen together are their two apartments and the cafe, Central Perk. So even though the obvious location would be Central Perk, Chandler being tried and succeeded in having the last line and last laugh. 7. Ross Made Carol Cry Did you know that Ross made his ex-wife Carol, played by Jane Sibbett, well up in tears? Well, in fact he did. From the very first scene, Ross is portrayed to be struggling with his marriage since his wife came out as a lesbian. And what makes it all the more saddening is that Carol is pregnant with Ross's child. Ross tries with all his might for Carol to stay by him, but only in vain. In one instance, Ross, his date, Carol and her partner Susan are seen together at a restaurant. But Ross is unable to take his eyes off Carol and even fails to notice his date leaving him at the table. Finally, it's just Ross and Carol and they cherish the good moments they had together. As his last plea, Ross requests Carol to give another chance to him, and she becomes poignant in that scene. Apparently, Jane Sibbett was not instructed to cry, but David's tenderness showcased in that scene made her well up in tears. The tears, which touched the hearts of the cast and live audience present, then made it to the episode. Have you ever wondered how the show would have been if Ross and Carol were together? Let us know in the comments down below. 8. Matthew Perry's Q-Tip ad -blin. Without a doubt, we can say that Chandler Bing, played by Matthew Perry, is the funniest and most sarcastic amongst the characters in Friends. There is a scene where Chandler comes into Monica's apartment, asking for a good tailor to stitch his pants. Joey, the way he is, makes dumb comments which in turn makes Chandler roast him. Although the original scene was designed for Chandler to scoff at Joey and walk away, Matthew Perry makes a remarkable comment. Okay, you have to stop the Q-tip when there is resistance. This perfectly timed ad lib seemed more humorous to the team and ultimately made it to the scene which we know now. 9. The Cabinet Blow In The One With The Dollhouse, Rachel's boss, Joanna, gets attracted to Chandler Bing and asks her to set them up on a date. Their love continues for a brief period and it is during this time that Rachel once comes unannounced to Joanna's office room. Do you remember what she found? She went to her office only to find a partially dressed Chandler handcuffed to a cabinet handle. He pleads with Rachel to uncuff him and let him go, and hilariously enough, Chandler, forgetting he is handcuffed, tries to move his hands, only for the cabinet drawer to hit him on the head. Well, guess what? The scene was totally unscripted. The expression on Matthew Perry's face is enough to make one roll with laughter on the ground. The scene was too funny to be edited out, and they aired it on screen. 10. The Ultimate Prank in the season 7 episode, we know that Rachel and Ross's son, Ben, bond quite well. Cool, fun Aunt Rachel teaches Ben some amusing tricks which she has down her sleeves. Little did Jennifer Aniston, who played the character Rachel, know that it would backfire on her. Ross, fed up with Ben's nasty little tricks around the house, pays a visit to Rachel to confront her. The entire friend set then pranked Jennifer Aniston by not informing her about the dummy Ross set to capture her genuine reaction. And boy, did they get one. Jennifer cries out loud, Oh, David! When the dummy, dressed exactly in Ross's costume, falls down the flight of stairs. If you watch that scene closely enough, you can see a scared reaction for sure. 
although it did give pretty much all of us a good hearty laugh. The editors had to dub out the daily part though. What do you think of our picks? Let us know in the comments below. As always, like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for updates on more videos. That's all from us for now, we'll see you in the next video.